we're going to be making an Egyptian cartouche. Now a cartouche is an oblong form that you see right here and it contains the name of a pharaoh. And I'm going to be using this book, Hieroglyphs from A to Z, to help me make the hieroglyphs that go in the cartouche. So the first thing I need to do is make the cartouche design and at the very end I will show you how to put it all together. So what I'm going to be doing is using in my book here some hieroglyphs that have the equivalent to our alphabet. So for instance, here we see a bird. This is actually a vulture. It says object shown, as in the word, and the hieroglyph and our own letter. So for instance, if my name started with A, then I could use the vulture for A, as in apple or Andy, and that's the vulture. Some letters have multiple sounds. So for instance, our letter C can sound like Cat or Kathy, it sounds like a K. So in that case, it would be the basket because if you look at the letter K, it is also a basket. However, if it sounds like Scent or Cindy, it is a folded cloth, which is the same as the S because that's the sound that it has. Also notice on the hieroglyph here for X and Y, there are multiple pictures. So for X, it says as in x-ray, the basket plus the folded cloth. In that case, you would have to use both of them. But here for the Y, it says two reed leaves or two strokes. So you don't have to use all four. You would just use the two reed leaves or the two strokes. So you can just become a little bit familiar and you can use many different versions of this chart. This is just the one that I happen to use. I like it because all of the hieroglyphs are pretty simple and easy to draw. Before I can make my cartouche, I need to create the oblong form. So here I have paper and I have an oblong form that I'm going to put down on my paper and trace around it. And then I'm going to just trace around the inside. And just keep it as even as possible. If it's not exactly perfect, don't worry about it so much. Next I want to try to make this look like a rope and most cartouches have base, so I'm going to draw the base, and I'm going to make it look a little bit more like a rope, so I'll just draw lines. Alright, if you wanted to get really technical with it, you could erase that line so that and make a line here so it looks like that's actually curve the whole way around, but I'm not going to worry about that for time's sake right now. Inside here, what I'm going to ask you to do is to put your three initials. So you're going to put the hieroglyph for your first letter of your first name, the first letter of your middle name, and the first letter of your last name. Now I'm just going to pick three hieroglyphs that are pretty simple just so I can do this quickly. So I'm going to pick the hieroglyph for CH, which looks like this. And the hieroglyph for, let's see, I will do the K. And I'm just looking at my book here just looking for the letters that I need to use. And uh, let's do the B. You want to space them out nicely so you don't have 
your hieroglyphs really tiny at the top and then have nothing at the bottom. You also don't want them to be um, all squashed to one side or the other. So you want to try to center them as much as possible. And the next thing you're going to do once you have that drawn is transfer it over to your scratch board.